Hey guys, this is Wingspan TT, and today we're checking out an Xbox Live indie game. And what is it called? Antipole. Or is it Antipoli? Now, I love this game right off the bat because it says press start, and you actually have to press the start button. I, I did an article on my blog, like nowadays it always says press start, but you can press A. In some games, you can press B, you can hit back, and the game will start. So I'm slamming the uh, A button here, and no, the game won't start. So, um,. I don't know if it's Saturnine Games, Saturnine Games. My good friend Mike, who uh, who who has started Saturnine Games, um, made this game for Xbox Live Indie. Um, no, I'm not going to exit the game. I'm just showing you what the options are here. Now, um, obviously, this game is not going to blow you away with graphics or anything like that. I don't believe there's any topless women or gigantic explosions or any of that stuff. This is just a solid platformer, and of course, you know, it has its its little its own little catch. So, you know, some platformers that you can reverse time, like in Braid or Portal, you have the Portal Gun, you have to think with portals. Um, you know, every game nowadays has to have its own little gimmick. So what is the gimmick for Antipole? Well, you've got a regular gun. It's a little, This isn't the first level, by the way. I'm continuing here. But you you don't have a gravity gun like George, uh, not George Freeman, I think of George Foreman, like uh, Gordon Freeman. You've got a gravity boost, basically. You can reverse the flow of gravity. So this is one of the bosses. And you'll see, I'll do a little jump. Whoa! Oh, okay, and I'll just, yeah, that's great. I'll just jump directly into uh, into a particle there and just take a lot of damage. This game, either this game is pretty hard or I'm just terrible at games. As you can see, I'm just failing miserably here. You, yes, I can walk on the ceiling like uh, Michael Jackson. No, he, Michael Jackson doesn't walk on the ceiling. He walks backwards. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I'm ter I never claim to be good at this game, and I'm going to be failing a lot, but anti-pole, I guess, you know, there's, there's polar opposites, there's up and down, there's chocolate and vanilla, there's um, turtles and jackrabbits, they're natural enemies, um, and I'm shooting left, I have no clue why. Basically, you just have a jump button, you have a shoot button, you have this little pea shooter of a gun. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't damage this boss by shooting, oh great, by shooting anywhere in its body, you need to shoot the little red orb, because uh, that's more obvious, and it's got these missiles, and of course, like, if you mess with gravity at the wrong time here, you'll reverse the flow of gravity with the missiles, and then they'll hit you. Um, it might be pronounced Antipoli, I don't know if maybe it's more like a Greek play, like a... It's a sequel to Antigone, although if I remember correctly, Antigone was already the sequel to another play, so maybe it was a trilogy, and Antip Antipoli is the third. Oh, great. Um, but, uh, you know, this is this is something, you know, this is an Xbox Live indie. You know, this game is just 240 Microsoft points, um, so I thought, you know, I just picked this up. I think that's like $3 or $30. I didn't really do the calculations, I just bought it, so hopefully it's not the second. Hopefully it's not $30. Um, not that it's not worth $30, but I um, kind of need to buy food occasionally, things like that. I like the character design. You kind of look like a cross between like Michael Jackson and um, Carmen Sandiego. I, can't, I mean, I'm just going to guess from the, this grunting that the character is male, but I can't really be sure. It is possible that we have located Carmen Sandiego, and this whole time she's been messing around with a plasma gun and a gravity beam. Um, which I guess would explain how she was able to steal so many landmarks with the uh, just by lifting off the ground by reversing gravity. I gotta say, you know, all these levels in this game are indoors. I'm just chilling here. My guy was about to start doing a little dance, you know, the old school kind of arcade thing where um, your character actually has a fun animation. Maybe I can use. Nope, no. Mm. Um, and you'll see there is actually an extent. There's like a limit to where the gravity is. There's this little circle that comes up around you. That that red circle shows you you know, where on the screen your anti-gravitational effect is taking place. So you can rest assured that your character is not destroying the entire planet just by using his uh, his little gravity belt, that he's not, like, sending planes into orbit or uh, making baseballs fall up or... Oh, look, oh, he throws a little coin. Isn't that cute? That's what he... He's a gangster. I, he's got a Tommy gun. He flips a coin. Maybe he's two-faced. Oh! Now, I don't actually know where to go after this. Um, there appears to be a pit of spikes, so I'm just going to assume I need to go over it. It would have really sucked if I missed that. Um, hey! Hey, there's ground here. Hey! Energy upgrade. You can now store more energy. Okay, great. So I can float longer, fall harder. I didn't meet the target time there. And just so you know, um, 
throughout each stage, now again, this is like level 12 or something like that. I don't know what the plot is. There's something like you had to destroy the robot, something about a Skynet. I didn't really read it. It doesn't seem really important. Uh, that's why I kind of liked the old school platformers. You didn't really have to worry about the plot. Why were you killing Dr. Robotnik? Why? Uh, it doesn't really matter because he's fat. I don't know. Because he's made out of eggs. And uh, it just seems in general robots are evil. Now, whoa, what is this guy? Oh. Oh, I see. He's got his own little machine to reverse gravity, and then you can reverse it again to make it normal gravity. So let's just... Oh, yes. Haha, I made you fall. Oh. There's a lot of interesting levels. You know, there are um, some enemies throw missiles, and then you have to reverse gravity and hit them with their own missiles. You can get a little... There's no achievements for India. Oh, fuck. Um, these little coins here, if you collect the coins, if you get enough, you unlock challenge levels. There's no achievements for indie games, but uh, Mike has uh, built in some achievements into this game, so you can get an achievement for killing a bunch of robots without, you know, firing your gun. Although, who wouldn't want to fire a Tommy gun? All right, all right, this looks pretty. Okay, so I'm upside down. I just oh, that wasn't so hard. I see this guy is just gonna come up below me, and oh fuck, fuck, which way is up? No, that's down. No, that's okay. I'm dead. I love how it's got like the medical little beeping, kind of reminds me of Half-Life 2 whenever you kill one of the, uh, the combine. Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, f yeah, fuck your, uh, waiting for that thing. No, I want the coin. Alright. I'll just, you know, I'll just wait, maybe I'll just toss my coin around here. So you, if you get three of those coins, every time you, uh, get three of those coins, you unlock like an extra challenge level. As you can see, I'm pretty terrible at the normal game, so I don't think I fared too well the cha ha ha at the challenge levels. Um, let's see, if we could just jump over here, ah, there we go, jump over there, and, uh, just use the gravity beam, just use the gravity beam, this is way harder since, uh, there's this anti-gravity field, just gotta, whoa, <laughs> one heart left, um, oh, f oh my god, you have to be kidding me, alright, see, this is one of those old school games where you actually have to try, you actually have to, like, time everything carefully, um, ooh, oh, yeah, you just think, you know, I, I don't know why this guy's killing his robots, they don't seem like they're harming him, it just seems like if he just left their lair, they would pretty much leave him alone, and then he could go use his gravity belt for, like, all kinds of constructive things, you know, um, you know, like, he could invent all these mass effect things, like, you know, floating cars, he could uh, remove the needs for bras worldwide. I don't know. Anything that would just uh, be useful. You know, he could just be really good at sports. Um, I mean, I guess stopping the evil robots is good. But I haven't been convinced that they're evil. I mean, that one is, is kind of dark. Oh, here we go. Oh, so it's acid. Now, if you touch the acid, you die instantly. And, oh, whoa, that guy, he's invincible. So you just got to drop him in the acid. Oh, there you go. Achievement unlocked. Hands off destruction. And uh, you can kind of reverse gravity and just drop these guys into acid and then make your way over. If you touch the acid, you instantly die. You lose all your health. Then again, I only have one heart, so it's not like it really... Oh, my God. It really matters. Maybe one of these guys will drop a heart for me. Heart? No, no. It's really annoying when there's this guy underneath. Look at these little spiders. Even the spider guy flips it. Look at him. He's kind of cute, actually. I feel bad killing him, but, you know, I have to do it because... Yeah, there's no point in shooting these guys. There's these guys that you can't kill. There's um, these jumping guys. That, oh, okay, look at this. Ha ha, you're in the acid. I jump over the acid. Here we go. This looks pretty straightforward. You just got to time your jumps. And it uh, looks like this acid is going to be suspended to the roof, but not if I reverse it. All right, I'm just testing the waters. I don't know where this guy's going to walk. He's going to walk over there. He's still going to revert and go back to normal gravity and then jump on the next platform. And, uh, you know, each level has its own little test like this. Normal gravity jump. Oh, ho! Oh. That was a close one. All right, this looks pretty easy. Just, okay, where is this guy going? All right, he's just going to stop there. This looks pretty easy. Just going to jump this platform. All right. Again, just an easy jump. Just jump over. Oh, my God. Um, so, look, I kind of died for about 35 minutes straight here. So, I'm not really going to subject you to this, um... Yeah, and each time, yet yeah, the, the save point. Now, this is, this is like old school platforms. No. And, uh, you know, it used to be there's no save points. At least you have infinite lives. But, uh, never claimed to be good at this game. We're good at jumping. Um, 
yeah, that's great. Just jump up and down a bunch of times. Um, I did discover during all these trials that these uh, the little spiky robots are not actually invincible. They die in two shots, so you just have to shoot them twice. That's that's all there is to it. The whole time I've been playing this game, I thought they're invincible, but it turns out they just take more than one shot to kill. Um, so yeah, this jump is pretty hard, mainly because if you use the gravity, it pulls the acid up towards you. And uh, so you just got to do the jump perfect. And there's a couple times where I uh, actually made the jump and then just kept walking and just slipped off the edge. Um, and then I took it out, but there's a part where I put my fist through the TV. Uh, that didn't go too well. Yeah, look at this. I do like the music. I, I can't say it sounds as good when the game is going up 1,000 times normal speed. But uh, but yeah, you know, this is this is just created a very small team. I don't know if it was a one-man team or like a three-man team exactly if Mike did this by himself. Ha uh, ha ha! Oh my god! But, um, you know, this game, definitely a lot of fun. Uh, there's more than one difficulty level, I believe, although for me, this normal difficulty is plenty difficult, as you can see. Um, I am glad I never died to the robot. Here we go. Here, now let's see if, um, pretty sure this, this one is a little better. Yeah, just take it a little easy. Um, as you can see on the clock, it's been 21 minutes now, so pretty much at my wit's end when it comes to this. There you go, drop him in the acid, jump. Um, I, I really like this feature, the uh, the gravity feature. It feels a little different. I know gravity reversal has been done, but I don't know if it really has. I mean, you know, the gravity gun in Half-Life didn't really reverse gravity. It just let you throw shit, like, telekinetically, really. Um... And I can't really think of anything else. Yeah, let's just get this guy out of my life. Oh, great. Now, he does have spikes on the top of him, which you've, you've noticed. If uh, you're playing a level where there's other robots, there's these flying robots that uh, fly up and down, shoot missiles, you can kind of reverse gravity and pull him into them, and it kills them instantly. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, la 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 la. Um. The music, very nice music, and like I said, the graphics, you know, they're they're simple. It's an Xbox Live indie game, but uh, the controls are tight, that's what matters. I'm just terrible at platformers in general. Um, let's see if we could just get gravity down, jump over here. Um, yeah, and uh, I like this guy's little red trench coat, very cool. Jump over, now can we do this? Mm, yeah, I love it. Just imagine you use this thing in real life. You know, you you walk over the ocean and you just turn off gravity and it just goes flying into the air. Um, probably it wouldn't be as neat as that. I'm like, hmm, I, do, I, do, I, do I even need a running start? Maybe I could just start at the edge and just jump. Because uh, I haven't tried that yet. But you know what? I'm not really convinced that that's a good idea. So, whoa, oh, oh, And then we'll just uh, reverse gravity here, jump over there. And this looks like a pretty normal jump. So. <sighs> Oh man, oh man, oh man. Um, you know, when you made this far, you know the checkpoint is so far away. It's just a little nerve wracking. Let's hit the gravity. Let's bring the stuff down and jump. Oh my god, oh my god. End of level. The target time, 2 minutes, 10 seconds. My time, easily 10 times less. Well, anyway, guys, this has been Antipole or Antipoli. I hope you enjoyed the little preview. If you. Check out the uh, check it out on the Xbox Live Marketplace. It is in the indie game section. It's been recently released, 240 points. You can also go to Saturn 9 Games uh, website to learn more about it. You can see the trailer. But it's definitely a title. At least try the demo. See if you like it. See if you want to fool around with gravity. Play God for a little bit. Once again, this has been Wingspan TT from TopTierTactics.com. See you next time.